guys welcome back to just fun stuff we're doing another just fun tour today we are touring the island of dana falls but before we get started don't forget to leave that like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss another upload now let's get this tour started all right like i said we are touring the island of dana falls it is fall here right now beautiful season one of my favorite seasons mushroom season and as i can already see coming off the airport or out of the airport there are mushroom items already in use which makes me excited they are like my favorite thing but let's go get walking around let's see what dana falls has to offer right away i'm loving it I love the paths, lots and lots of trees, really rustic looking, coming in right away. I'm guessing post office, this is definitely doesn't have a library feel to it, this has a post office feel to it. If you didn't notice, there's a custom coming out of the fax machine. I didn't even know that we could do that, that's adorable. Well done, super cute. You come right into the shopping area, the shopping district. I love the feel of this. Really natural, really woodsy. The little bear outside reading by the fireplace. Really cute. Lots of art. Coming up. Mushroom items. I love the mushroom items. Able Sisters. The mossy brick custom on the ground beautiful i love that they did a good job picking that one but i love the way abel's is done lots going on lots of clothes the sewing machine Ooh, pirate boots really cute Let's keep moving along come right out onto the beach I like the beach. The, I love, this just reminds me, I don't know, it's just, I love the coastline and with the weeds and the blowing, it's just so pretty. You come up to what looks like a little greenhouse or a plant shop or a gardening area. Love that, that's really cute. I also like how the Hedges change with the season as well. They're kind of oranging out. That's really cool. Really pretty. I love the path. So awesome. You take the path that everybody has and you just kind of up it a bit by putting the add-ons, the stamp-ons. This area is super cute. Nice little area to sit. Lots of pinks and colors. This is beautifully terraformed out. The pond. Oh, the floating gravestone. Okay, they have Dobby, so instantly I'm jealous. Love this. It's like a hay field and the fencing it looks like bales of hay. That's great. This is cute. Definitely a rural area. Sorry, Dobby. I would love to have Dobby on Funland. He's one of he's one of my dreamies. Oh, I see the leaves floating. Let's keep looking around. There's so much to see. We haven't even begun to see this entire island. I don't know if I can get behind. Oh, I can. The path leads back there. Let's continue going. Paths are great. I need to find, I want to find some stairs. I know there's some around here. Right back there so that we can get up top. I love the path work around here. This is like a beekeeper's area. Oh, they even have the wasp there. All the beehives, the honey pots, the water. I love the barbed wire fence too. I feel like that's an underutilized fence. It's really actually kind of awesome. I love this. Keep moving. Love all the mush items. I love the different layers and I love how you can come and 
see everything from each player. Like, this is beautiful. Coming through the rustic archway. Oh, that's an amazing idea. I love that. The four stone arches to create this pattern, especially if you don't have the giveaway from Gulliver. This is such a cool idea. Leading into the museum. Again, just very natural, very rustic. Paper lanterns are cute. More beautiful terraforming. Get the fossils up top. It's a really good job. Coming into residence yards. I love all the pumpkins that are planted for the fall season. So cool. Such a good use. And the flower colors. Everything is, it just goes together. There's nothing too, too bright. Lots of yellows and oranges and whites and greens. Really good. Moving along. Beautiful pass. Oh, I can't wait to get up there. Look at this. Look at that. That's so romantic. You've got the carriage surrounded by the rock garden. With the hay bales and the wedding tables. That's so cute. That's such a good idea. I love the rock gardens. Again, I have so much respect for the people that take the time to do that. The secret beach is great. This is a cute area. Oh, the wine kegs. For your romantic dinner by the carriage. Oh, that's great. Up the multi-leveled stairwell to main house. Looks like an apple orchard. So much, so much going on and yet it's not so busy. I love the little library, the books, the little seating area. The bear on the record case is cute. Bushels of apples and fruit, more mush items. Definitely their farm area. Well, one of many. This is a very rustic island and it's beautiful. And yes, I will be putting the dream address in the description. So come check it out on your own time. So cool. I love the little barn. I love the silo in behind it. That's genius. I've seen barns done so many different ways. And that's the first time I've seen the silo being used as like an actual part of the barn. Oh, and there's the bed back there. I love that. Such a good job. I love the farm area. The cocoa tree. The moss balls. That's great. Really creative. I like that. Moving on. More paths, more water. You can see everything from right here. Let's see if we can find a way down. This is so cool. I love the twisting path. So great. Missing items. <laughs> Typewriter. I love this area. That's just fantastic. Keep moving back around. We'll head over this way and up a different side. It looks like this is the orchard area. You have all the trees. I love the barrels everywhere. And the hay bales. And the well. This is great. Moving through. They did a wonderful job with the path as well. The time and effort it must take to do that. I know that I'm a huge fan of paths. I'm not a huge fan of creating paths. This is cute. It's kind of like storage shed little art area. You got the clay sitting out there. Crafting bench. Lots of mush items, and I love them. Can't wait to have mushroom season. 
Going through. I like how there's no set just residential area on this island. I love how everything's just kind of integrated into one. The houses are just kind of sporadically placed around. There's no set houses must go in a row. And I like that. I like the levels and I like the way it's laid out. Farm up there. Wonder if I can get around and down from up here if I have to go back. I think I have to go back. Or do I? Yes, I think I do. <laughs> I want to get around to the other side. There's a lot to see there, but I thought maybe it'd be an easy way around, but there's not. So we'll just continue this way. Back, down, and around. And across the bridge to get to the other side. Beautiful. I love how they customize the clothes as well. I never think to do that when I'm putting in a clothesline. That looks so great. Lots of beautiful customizing. And I love how they left the weeds everywhere. The weeds look fantastic. Some people are anti-weed. I'm all for it. I think the, especially the fall weeds. They look really good. Heading back down. There's so much going on. I love it. More residents' homes. So much path. On to the other side of the beach. Out to Mel Bob. Very simple in a lot of their decor, and I think that's fantastic. Some people love tons and tons and tons of stuff. Some people prefer just natural. This is like a mix of between perfectly natural and very fitting decorations. Some areas are really packed, some are really, really rustic, and I think it works so well. I like that. I like the flamingos standing by the... Big tall windmills. Cute use of the arch too. This is a great island. Dana Fall is such, especially if you love the fall aesthetic, this is the island for you to visit. It's absolutely wonderful. It just screams fall. They did such a good job with the terraforming, the paths, the, de the decor they used, everything. It's just, it works. It all fits together. I think it's such an amazing island. I highly recommend you guys come check it out. If you do, let me know what you think. If there are any parts that were your favorite. I know that I'm taking a lot of inspiration from this island. I'm going to try and integrate into mine. They did just such a phenomenal job. Anyway, I think now that I'm back with Luna, I am definitely going to keep wandering around. I know there's still so much to see that I probably haven't seen, even though I've been here multiple times. I highly recommend you guys come and check it out as well. I want to thank you for watching with me, for liking and subscribing. Don't forget to check us out on Instagram and I will definitely be seeing you in the next video.